Sige, the first thing that we're going to do is moto sa tasa canva.com. Okay. And then, login ta sa to ang DepEd email. So I have here. So, nakalagin ako. So, muna ni siya, this is how the interface looks like inside Canva. So, what is nice with, ano, what is nice with um, using our DepEd email is we get to get a premium account, premium Canva account. So, there are two kinds of accounts, mga good, in Canva. For, uh, free account and then um, premium account. So, Pag free account, there is just a limited access on the things that you can use. But for premium, um, unlimited, you know, millions, 700 fonts, millions of pictures and um, elements. And But for premium account, man, good, there is a monthly payment. But for DepEd, if you use your DepEd na email, um, when you register or when you sign up, you will immediately get a premium account for free. So that is very nice tayo ko for, for all of us no, nga na sa Department of Education. So naana ba mo sa koan? Naana mo sa, naana mo sa website? Sir Roel? Wala ko. Kamalo pa ko lang in. Sige, login sa mo. Sige, login sa mo. Ah. Mamrock. Ah. Dili ta baka open na sa cellphone. Oh, kay app man siya, ma'am. Kaya atong gamiton ang Canva for Education, man. Lalagi o niya na lang ko magkuhan. O, oh, sige, follow lang, ma'am. Talaw lang sa... If you want. Sige, sige. Okay. Sige, naan na mo. Alright, so this is how um Canva looks like, no? Sa web. I suggest na you use with the web kay mas dali siya i... Dali siya mag-layout. Dali, dali mag-navigate kaysa sa app. Mark basic mong kayo ang naa sa app. So, I have here... Uh, sa so, kuan ba? Asa ka mong tulad ni? Login or sign up? Login, login. Naka-sign up naman kaya ka. Sige, once na makalagin mo... So, muna ni siya ang inyo makita, no? Um, there, there is what you call a search bar here. Pwede ka mag-search uh, of designs and templates. And then, there are also um, specific na tabs here like social media. If you want to create a material for social media, events, marketing, documents, pins, video for school or for personal use. And then, at the bottom are the designs that you made. So, I have here three. And then, kung naka-deped email ang atong i-register, um, you can also here see some education infographics, environmental posters, na pwede na siya diretsyo i-download and use. Um, presentations, kanang mga templates for your PowerPoint, and then even resume, no? So, you can actually access a lot of templates within Canva na pre-made na siya. All you have to do is edit. Okay. So, there at the at the right side, you can actually find here parang this is where you navigate. So, oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, this is where you navigate. No, so we have here templates. 
So these are all pre-made templates that you can use um, and edit. And then we have here um, your home, your classwork, apps, brand kit, design, school. Now, I would like you to go. Um, there is a uh, right side. I have your CDO teachers design challenge. So I actually created this group. And then mo siya akong gi, gi invites in you, ha. So within the group, um, this is what you call parang a classroom. So we have here five tabs, designs, folders, templates, people, and groups. Okay, so later na ng groups. So I have here people. So as you can see, sa ubos, na anay mga member, no? So na yung mga pangalan diha. And then you can assign roles if student ba siya, teacher, or you, you are going to remove them from the team. Okay, so basically, ang naadiri sa, sa um, group are the ones na katong nag, nag, uh, nag response sa kong invitation. And then you can also import your Google Classroom if you have an exist thing na nga, um, classroom in Google Classroom and then i-import na lang nimo ang mga tao nga na adito. Or you can um, get an invite link and send this to people just like how I uh, did yesterday. Naghatag lang kong link sa gusto mag-join. And then I have here templates. So I did not make any. Folders. So I actually created here a folder na design challenge uh, number one. This is where we are going to upload our outputs later. And then design. Okay. Sige. So, money siya kunway ang sa teacher view. Now, what are we going to do now is we are going to shift to student view. So, I will log in again. Nag-log in na ba mo? Log in ko. Sige. Muna ni nga part nga mag-follow. Mag-follow na ta. Okay. So, again, you log in to your account. Pag-on lang mo sa inyong mic kung na mo question, ha? Okay. The next thing you... The next thing that you're going to do is once na open na ninyo ninyong account is you go to this right side here and then click CDO Teachers Design Challenge. Okay, so click. And then that is what you're going to see. Nakafollow ba? Okay. So, ang atong first challenge for today is we are going to make a Facebook cover picture. Okay? So, I'll give you an example in my Facebook account for a while. Okay, for example, in my Facebook account, Okay. As you can see here, I have a Facebook cover here. So that is what is our first challenge, first design challenge for today. Oh, Para natay bago nga cover art sa to ang Facebook. Okay. So let's go back to our group here, katong CDO Teachers Design Challenge. And then sa ubos, I actually shared here a template katong ako ang cover photo na gibuhat. Now, what is nice about Canva is that, for example, I already created a template, I, an art. I can actually share it to anybody. Uh, it's either a link or through invitation sa, sa ato ang group. And then you can actually edit it or make a copy of it 
so you can edit it and then download it para sa inyo ha. So, in short, simple na lang kaayo ang pag-editing kaya ano may di-share na pre-made um, design daan. So, nakita ba ni ninyo? What you're going to do next is you're going to click this one. Okay, kaning pink and yellow photo beauty hair Facebook cover. Just click it. And then, na ay mo gawas na window. That's a new window. So, as you can see, you will know who created it. So, I created it by Roxanne Fuentes. And this is actually a pre-made template of Canva. Okay, what you're going to do now is there are two options. Edit and make a copy. Don't edit it because you will be editing my own work. Okay? So what you're going to do is if you want to create your own um, Facebook cover following this design, you click make a copy. Okay? Again, ha? Ayo edit because if you edit this, you will be editing my work. That's what edit means. So if you want to create your own design following or using this template, you just click make a copy. Once you click make a copy, a new window will appear. Yan. Okay? Sige. Nakafollow ba? Alright. Now, for our session today, padili kita mabugatan. Ang ato arang buhaton is basic editing, um, editing of text, and uploading of photos. And then, um, putting in the photo sa layout. Alright. So, what you're going to do is, first is maghimo ta o uh, mag-upload ta o photo. Where can you upload a photo? Um, later on, as we go along sa tong design challenge in the next few days, um, we will be um, navigating through these um, items here sa right side. But for now, what I will discuss is the upload button. Okay? So if you're going to click upload, you can actually ha have two options here. Either to upload an image or to upload a video. Um, for the purpose of our demonstration, we will just have to upload an image. Okay? So just click the blue button here. And then choose, pag mag-click ka ng blue button here, a new window appears. And then you just have to choose the photo that you're going to place in your layout. So for example, pictures. Um, let's say I want this one. And then click open. Okay. Then you can see your uploaded photo here. What's nice with Canva is all the photos that you upload will not be gone. Dili siya mawala. So, the next time nga mag-layout ka, mag-create ka another layout, mag-create ka another layout, you will still see the photos that you uploaded beforehand. So, pwede ragid ka siya ni mo balik-balikon. No? Dili siya mawala. Okay? So, you just have... So, now that you have your template here, you want to place this photo sa imong template. All you have to do is to drag and then you can place it there. Okay, naka-premade template naman siya. That means na na ni siya yung mga box. This is the first box, the second box, the third box, and then I have here the text, then some other photos that I included. So, you can actually just drag it Ganyan lang siya. Okay? Or, and then you can add another image, for example, this one. And then click open. And then same process, you just have to drag it. Okay. To make sure lang na um, you're editing only the photo na imong ganahan, click lang yun mo siya until a box appears. Kani? So, ayan din mo siya i- Ayan din mo siya. Ayan. Na siya mo lagawas na box. Ayan din mo lang din siya i-adjust. Ayan. 
Okay. Tendency man good is if you click this one, anak lang siya, tanan siya mo move. So make sure you double click it para mo gawas na siyang murag na kaning puti white circles here before you're going to adjust it. Yan. Para makita. Kung kani, sinya po, double click and then adjust. Okay, and then retain lang na ko ang third ni image. Again, double click. Yan. Okay, that's how you upload and um, place the image that you uploaded in your layout. Then next is editing text. Very simple lang. I have here, um, for example, your name. Again, type lang ako outro. And then you can actually, just like more of Microsoft Word, you can choose the font here. Again, there are 700 fonts for premium accounts. So, magan ka ay very nice kayo. You can choose a katong marag calligraphy, calligraphy na style. Yan. Ito, I'll accept sa kung. Yan. Yan, calligraphy na style. Or you can have a script like that. And then you can also choose the size of your text. Sorry. Choose the size of your text. And then, you can also choose the color. Yan. So, ang saman yung gusto. Sa color sa imong text. Is blue? Yan. So, I'll just have it black. I know. The yellow. Yan. And then, you can have it bold. Ay, hindi din mo siya mabold kaya depende sa imo hang for a while. Depende sa imong font. Kaninga font, hindi mo siya pwede mabold. Or you can italize or make it center, pakilid. So, mura lang kagna sa Microsoft Word or you can create a list. Alright? So, that's just how you edit it. Now, if you want to add a photo, another here, another photo here, same ragi hapon na, for example, this one. Example, this one. So you can just drag it. Kung dili ka gusto nga masulod diya sa masulod diya sa box um, for a while. Eh, ako mouse kajut lang. Okay. This is the undo button there kung nakakay sa'yo. Mara lang siya ka na sa Microsoft Word na undo. Or you can type Ctrl Z. For a while. Okay. So that is how you create your um, basic Facebook uh cover photo. Right? So that um, basically ang show lang nako is how you are going to uh, make a copy of a prepaid template and edit it on your own basic editing of text and then um, uploading of photos for your, ano, for your layout. And then you can also like have this in transparent. For example, this photo here can actually click transparency here kung gusto ni mga mas lighter siya or mas darker. Umawala siya, Ana. Okay, so I think that's it. That's it for the basic layout lang for for today. And once nga mahumana ninyo siya, you're going to download it para ma-upload na ninyo sa inyong Facebook. So, I, by the way, how to delete Simple lang. For example, if you want to delete this one, just click the photo or text and then naatay mo ng trash box here. That is a trash bin. That is actually the delete. So you just have to click delete and mawala na siya. Okay, again, here's the undo button. Kung gusto ninyo ibali. So you can actually um, undo or delete, undo, and delete. Okay? So once you're done now with your cover photo, you can... Also, this one, this box here, 
Sorry, nalimutan ako. This box here, you can also change the color. Um, kita mo ang button here. Just click that one and then you can actually like change it to yellow or blue or green. I just choose pink. Okay. So I think that's it. Once you're done with your layout, you can now download it. Where do you download? Uh, you just have to click this button here na arrow facing down. And then you choose the what kind of file. So you can actually create, um, download it in PDF, JPEG, or PNG. So, But the most suggested na format is PNG. As it is lang siya. And then you can actually um, decide on the size, no? Ako usually, when I, when I um, lay out, do layouts, I usually go beyond 2,000. Okay, I usually go beyond 2,000 para dako iyang resolution. Wait for a while. Who's calling? Oh, well, no. Is it an hour? Pero wala lagi teachers. Abi si teacher kan ni sa nawag. Okay. Pero well, so balik ta. Okay. Once you balik ta to download. So once you're done with your layout, you can actually decide on your size. Usually I'd go beyond 2000 um pixels, no? But for Facebook naman, you can just have like 1230. Oh, basta ka muna i-decide kung isa ka na ko inyong file size na pixel. So, I'll just choose this, kanin 1640 times 624. And then, just don't, um, just unbox lang. Ayaw lang niya siya ipang-click. And then, simply click download. Once you're done, um, decide asa ni mo siya i-save. For example, cover, um, uh, FB cover. So, kung gusto niyo siya sa des desktop, niyo siya i-save or sa documents. So, I'll just have desktop and then just click save. And then, you can now actually um, use it in your, just click, in your FB na for your Facebook cover art. Now, um, how do we, Rox, how do we share our output here sa ato ang group? So, what you're going to do is, mubalik mo dito sa inyohang teams. Okay, so I have here, actually, nanay nag-send no, pero di rin nilag send sa design. Actually, you can just go to folder. And then we have here, design challenge, uh, number one, Facebook cover. Just click it. And then there's an upload button here. And then, pangitaon na nito ninyo yung inyong gihi mo nga cover art. So, this one, FB cover. Open. Ayan. Then, just wait for it to upload completely. Okay. Then, you can also um, uh, check the ellipses here. You can move to folder if there are other folders. Pero for this for this demonstration, isa pa man akong ibuat. You can also download original. You can remove the you remove it from the folder or you can move it from trash. Okay? So that is how you upload your um, Facebook uh, for your uh, design challenge today. So again, now you go to your Teams folders and then click design challenge and then click upload. Now, um, how do I see this in the teacher's view? So if I go back to my teacher's na teacher na account, kay student account man siya. If I go to my teacher account and then I go to my to our group na CDO teachers design challenge. And if I go to folders, yan, I click design challenge. Ay, hindi pa siya lumalabas. Wait. Yan. So again, if I click the CDO Teachers Design Challenge, if I click Folders, I can already see here that there is already one item 
that was submitted by a student, for example. So if I click that one, there you go. I can now see the I, the the um the item that was sent to me by my student. So I can actually download it or move it to folder or remove it from a folder. So basically that's it for our um session for today, no? So navigating along the the group that we created and basic editing and layouting in Canva in uh, pre-made na uh, pre-made na template. So any questions? What a question? Sure. Sure. Yes. Sure. 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 So again, um, kung naanak kung naanak ka sa imuhang diri balik ka sa imong canva.com, you just go to your CDO Teachers Design Challenge and then you click folder. And then you click the folder here kaning Design Challenge number 1. And then just click upload. Then pangitaon to nimong imong gi nahimo nga work and then just click open. Open lang. Then, mo upload na na siya diha. Okay? Okay, okay. Keep thank open. you. Pero nakafollow ra mo sa ano? Nakafollow ra mo on how to edit it? Sure, um, actually, ang Canva for Education is open siya for accounts nga naka .edu.ph or naka uh, ph.education or deped.gov.ph So I think ang XU is naka edu.ph man siya, no? So you can actually use that your um. Pero kinangan pa ka mag-register or sign up for a edu account and then they will be the one to approve it. Okay. During the process sa pag-sign up for a for an edu nga, edu nga account, you will be asked to um, upload a photo of your a photo of uh, parang parang evidence that you are an employee of of a, that particular school so mag-upload ka sa mo it's either an ID or uh, employee uh, employee ID or imuhang um, certificate of employment you can actually access it um, you can actually sign in and register at canvacom edu sign up yan na sa chat box I think pwede siya, Sir Romeo. I-try lang siya, Sir, kay um, basta edu nga, ang giingon sa amo is pag naka.edu.ph or ph.education or dep.gov.ph, diretsyo siya, but you have to, again, sign up. Sign up ang nga kong link na giyatag, canva.com slash edu dash sign up and they will be the ones to kanang verify and approve your account. Yes. Nice kaya siya kay um it's a it's premium premium account and you mawil if nakadat that idiyum.